G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here and in this video today we're going to go over how you can create stinger transitions using the GT Title Designer. Now in vMix 24 you've now got the ability to build your own stinger transitions in vMix as opposed to using an After Effects template and then converting that to an image sequence and it makes it a whole lot easier by using the GT Title Designer. Now you will need to have vMix 24 and you also need to have vMix 4K or Pro if you want to create or use custom animations. Now there are a ton of templates that are now built into vMix so I'll also go over how to use the Stinger templates in vMix 24 as well later on in this video. So what is a Stinger transition? Basically they're transitions that usually go from say live footage to instant replay so it's usually a logo or some kind of image or content that comes out at the screen it goes full screen and then it switches cameras behind that and then when the camera then comes up, it's a new angle. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and create a new title. So I'm just gonna create a 1080 title here. And what I'm gonna do is just create an element that I can bring onto the screen, full screen, and then transition out. So what I'm gonna do is just create a rectangle here. I'm going to fill it. So I can use dock and then fill to create a full red rectangle here on my canvas. So what I need to do now is create a transition in and a transition out point so vMix knows when to perform that cut behind this particular stinger. So I'm just gonna to go to the animations tab. I've got my rectangle over here selected and I'm going to the animation. So I need to select a transition in. So what I'm gonna do is just select fly. So it will come in from the side. We'll go half a second make it a cubic easing in and it's going to come in from the side here so this is what it will look like. Now I need to create a transition out so I'm going to do the, do the same click fly half a second cubic easing in and this is what it will look like transition in and then at that point where it goes from in to out it will transition the uh, shot behind it. All right so what I need to do now is go ahead and just save this uh, let's save this as example one here. That will do the trick. Just replace the one that I've already created through this tutorial many times. All right, so now I'm just gonna go and open up vMix. So as you can see here, I've got a really basic production. I've got my petrol cam, and then I've got a close-up petrol cam here. As you can see, there's a bunch of uh, flowers. But if you look really close, you can actually see some bees on there. So I'm gonna use that as my stinger cut. So what I'm gonna do first is go ahead and add my title. Now, if I go to the title section here, I can go to the recent section. So if I've saved one recently in GT Title Designer, it will appear there. I can also click browse to find my GT Title Stinger. I'm gonna select recent. As you can see here, I've got example one. So I'm going to select example one and then click okay. Now, because we don't have any editable content for this title, there's no text or images. This is all going to be blank here. So I can close this down. Now I need to go ahead and set up my Stinger. So that can be done from the overlay section, which is in the bottom right hand corner down here. So I just need to click overlay. And then from the drop down up here, you'll see one, two, three, and four. So this is where you can set up your overlay channels. And then you can also set up your four stingers that are available in vMix. So I'm gonna select stinger one. Now there's a lot of information here in regards to the type, effect, effect duration, duration, all that kind of stuff. And that's typically to do with the previous way of adding stingers in vMix. So if you add an image file sequence or if you had an MOV file, you had to set the cut point. But in vMix 24, because you can use GT, it's automatically going to know when the cut point is. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and select the stinger input. So from the drop down menu, I'll select my example that I have created. As you can see, it's removed all the other content. Now, if you were looking to create your own stingers in After Effects and converting them to image sequences, check out our other video for more information about how to do that. All right, so by default in GT, you're going to build in all of your animations. So as you saw before, we use the fly animation to bring in the content in and out. So we're gonna leave this effect as a cut. So the cut will just automatically use the existing animations we've already created. If we use something like a fly or a fade, it's going to interfere with the ones that we've already built and we don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna leave that as cut. So we've selected the stinger input. Now next to that, you'll notice that you can also choose to display the stinger underneath your overlays. So for example, if you had a bug or something in the top right hand corner or a time or something you didn't want to be removed, you can actually set the stinger to perform underneath that. So you can tick that if you wanted that there. 
All right down the bottom, I'm just going to click OK because that's set up and ready to go. So just before we go any further, I'll just show you how you can adjust your transitions down here. So by default, Stinger 1 and Stinger 2 won't be here, but all you need to do is select a little arrow here and you can choose what you want to use as that particular button's uh, transition. So for example, I could select uh, Stinger 3 here or I could change Stinger 2, Stinger 1. I could change those all around if I wanted to. So I'm just gonna switch this back to Merge. So that's why I've got Stinger 1 and Stinger 2 in this transition list. Now all I need to do is click the Stinger button here or I could set up a shortcut to use Stinger um, for all of my transitions between certain things if I wanted to. So I'm going to select Stinger 1. As you can see, it has gone full screen, transition in, transition out. So I'm like, wow, check out these bees. And um, there you go, that's uh, using the Stinger transition. So that's a really simple Stinger transition uh, using the GT Title Designer. So if I go back to the Title Designer here, what I could do is spruce things up a bit. So I can edit the fill here. What I'll do is I'll make it a gradient. Let's make it something, you know, make it a nice gradient here. Uh, let's select this one. Uh, let's make sure this alpha's up. Um, so now we have a nice gradient here, a nice watermelon gradient. Uh, and let's go ahead and add a logo. So we want to add a cool logo when we have our stinger transition. So I'll go to image over here, add my logo click open and then what I want to do is just move this align center and align middle so that's right in the middle now so if you play this through the background is still going in and out so now we need to work out how we're going to transition and out this logo so I've selected the image here go to animations and I'm going to select transition in so what I want this one to do is to um, let's just zoom this in so let's make the duration half a second and we need to actually delay it. So we want this to actually appear kind of as the background is appearing. So let's make the delay uh, 0.4. And I like to use the cube easing in. I think it looks good. So this is what it will look like for transition in. So it's gone full screen and then the logo's popped out. Actually, it's probably a little bit slow. Let's make this 0.3. And let's see what that looks like. So there, that's a, an easy way to kind of bring out a logo. And then what we want to do is set the transition out for this. Now you might notice when you've watched a lot of sports or different things with these type of transitions that the, uh, the logo or the image kind of sticks around a bit just to remind you who's advertising or what team is playing and that sort of thing. So you'll typically want to set maybe a little bit of a delay on a Stinger transition. You might not, totally up to you. So for this image here, I'm going to zoom it back in again and I'm just going to set a little bit of a delay on it. So we'll go 0.3. Set this to point half a second. So these, this is like 0.3 of a second, 0.5 of a second. Uh, and so that's what it's going to be doing on the transition out. Now we also need to now set that for our rectangle. So instead of instantly transitioning out, we want to just leave a little bit of a delay. So if we make this one 0.5, uh, and we can make the duration 0.5 as well. And let's just see what that looks like. So as you can see, it kind of, Background comes out, logo comes out, zooms in and zooms out and kind of just waits there for 0.3 of a second for the logo and 0.5 of a second for the background. So let's save this and take a look at what this looks like now in our production. So we can right click on that, reload, and then just fire up this stinger. As you can see, it kind of just waited around a bit. There we go. Oh, it's a VMix show, that's great. So. All right, that's uh, how to create a very simple one with a couple of different features. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to add a template using vMix 24. So you go to add input, go to the title section and you'll notice a new section here called GT Stingers. So these are available in every edition of vMix. You can use any of these templates. So we click on this here. As you can see, there's a bunch in here. There's some with logos, some without logos. Um, if you've got any awesome ideas for Stingers, feel free to drop me an email and we can maybe add that into the next version of vMix. Uh, these are just kind of ideas to suggest um, if you wanted to build your own or you can use all of these, that's no problem. So if you select it, click OK. And because we have an image here, you now have the ability to change this image and add a logo from the title editor menu. So I'm going to now select my logo here, click open and now you can see I've got my vMix logo here. Close this down. If I wanted to ever change this, I could right click on it, title editor to change it again. All right, so with this one here, we need to set up Stinger 2. We can do it in Stinger 1 if we wanted to, but I've got the other one there for that. So I'm gonna select Stinger 2, 
I'm going to leave this cut. Uh, the effect doesn't matter because it's a cut. So that, that number there doesn't matter. And then we need to select the stinger input. So we've got four out of stars, four stars out of five green. And we're going to click OK. So stinger two, now as you can see, we've got that goes up and then fades out. So that's just another way of kind of creating your own stinger. So basically all this one is, is these are coming down at slightly different intervals. They're going down, the logo pops up, and then these are going back at different intervals again. So there's tons of different ways that you can make stingers in the GT title design. And now you can also even bring in um, image sequences and that sort of thing if you wanted to kind of convert your own After Effects template uh, creation into a GT title designer. So that about wraps it up for this video. In vMix 24, we now have that ability to create GT title stingers. So vMix automatically knows where that cut point is going to be between your switching cameras because it goes based on the transition in and the transition out that's been set in the GT title designer. So if you do have any questions about creating GT stingers, feel free to drop us an email via the support page on vmix.com. Very difficult to answer YouTube comments based on um, what's happening and what you're doing in, in your title editor. So you can send through the GT zip file and we can take a look to see what you're up to. If you wanna know more about the GT title designer for creating animations and all that kind of stuff, check out some of the videos on our YouTube channel. So thanks for watching and we will stream you later. Now that you've reached the end of this video, here are a couple of other things that might tickle your fancy. If you like to keep up to date with vMix videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. For a free 60-day trial of vMix Pro, head over to vmix.com.